Hi, it's day 23. Welcome to the daily vlog. I am going to my guitar lesson now and I will introduce you to my guitar teacher today. There is a reason for that. I might have something more to show you as well. So yeah, show and tell. Well, that's what a vlog is, isn't it? Uh, so stick with me and you'll see interesting things. Always take the pick. I sometimes forget the pick, which is not a good thing. So, yeah, let's get this show on the road. I'm going to Brenton and you are coming with me. Okay, we are here. I'll take you inside with me. Don't say anything until I introduce you, okay? So, as I promised, I'm going to introduce you to Mr. Alan Kirkham, who is my guitar teacher. And he's my guitar teacher, otherwise he's like a full-on music teacher. He's registered with everything and he teaches in school, teaches ukes and drums and piano and everything. Um, he's a super talented musician and very, very, very excellent teacher. So if you are uh, in Kentley or Brenton area and looking for somebody to teach your kids or teach yourself, Definitely look him up. Uh, and today I'm going to ask him to talk about this guitar that somebody has left with him for sale. It's a Strat and I'll point it to you. And your answer. Okay, what I'm going to show you is this. Um, people have Fender Stratocasters, but this one, it's all to do about the neck, the type yes, of sir. neck and when they were built. Yes, sir. So what I want to do, I'll just open this out for you and I'll explain. Right. A little bit more. Because so as guitarists, it's all about the neck and the tone. If you have a look, it looks a bit weathered and worn. Obviously being played. Being played. Now, if you look up here, this style of neck, yes. this neck is actually a genuine, it's, it's a 1977 Fender okay. neck, which is renowned for being a very, very good, good neck. What it helps, it's got kind of, you may not be able to pick it up on the camera, but it's got a radius coming across the neck here. Okay. And the way it smoothly transitions up, it's got like a radius going over. All right. And that gives it this lovely ease of playing when we're, you know, I have students who battle creating bar chords. Yeah. But on this, to be honest, I think you've only got to lay your fingers on and it will play. So that's the beauty of it. Cool. This again is just obviously the genuine wear, what yeah. you see people when overplaying, overplaying. So when you see a guitar that's kind of a bit worn, it kind of been loved. Yeah. It can yeah. look as if it's been abused, but yeah. it's actually been played. Well, it has to be good, otherwise somebody would not keep it for so long. Well, they'll just keep polishing it and hanging it on the wall. Yeah. But, um, but then when you get someone who's quite happy, and yeah. you can actually map out where they're actually favourite places to play on the guitar. <laughs> yeah. You, know? yeah. you get a lot of guitars these days tend to have the shading around this area and this is still brand new. Yeah, but it's been played all over. So it's been played by proper rock star kind of people. Well, yeah, I mean, I don't know the genuine history, but you would definitely would say whoever was playing it yeah. has loved it. Yeah. Absolutely loved cool. it. Cool. Yes. Thank you, sir. Okay. <laughs>
what an afternoon I'm having and the day is still young. So I bought the guitar from Alan. That's why I asked him to describe his merits to you. And then when I wanted to pay him, uh, I went to the cash machine, which was like the post office nearby. Drove to the post office, went to the counter to get some cash out. And I found that I didn't have my debit card with me. We'll see how that does. Not sure. So, not just with me, I didn't have my debit card. It's always in my wallet. So if it wasn't in my wallet, that means somebody else had it. Panic, right? And then, well, I would have panicked more if I hadn't already seen my account balance online on my mobile just a few minutes ago. Um, so I knew that nobody was using it, but it was somewhere else. So I finally started thinking back, we don't use debit cards so much these days, do we? I mean, cash. I usually use just a credit card or mostly, you know, contactless. So, and it's so much easier. You can't forget this one because it's tied around your wrist. But I'll tell you about this as well sometime. But uh, yeah, so I decided to think about, think back and realize that last time I got some cash out was at the Aldi. Aldi is where you can, you know, actually you can pay by debit card and get some cash as well. And probably they didn't give me the card back, which is right. I should have remembered, but I would still blame the cashier because she got me to sign the receipt and she gave me the cash and the receipt at the same time, but no card. And I do remember that I was stay, I stayed there for a couple more seconds, a few more seconds anyway, because I was trying to struggling to get the cash back into my wallet. Uh, ultimately, I put it in the back pocket, which I usually don't do, but I had no hands free. I had the max in both hands. So in that time also, she didn't remember the card. And this was, so I went to the Aldi first, came home, put the guitars inside, and then went back to Aldi and talked to the manager. And yeah, my card was there. Funny thing is, he had two cards, even from my same bank. There were two cards, so it's good to know that other people have that happen to them as well. Why do we always take comfort in that? It happens to other people as well, then it's certainly not so bad as if it was just you. Hmm. Probably we don't want to be stupid of ourselves, we want company in our stupidity. So, here we are now, I am back home and let me show you the guitar. Yeah, let's take the guitar out before I put the groceries away. Yeah, after I got the card back, I stayed to do some grocery shopping, tiny things. Oh, hold on, I need to show you this. This bread is so nice. From the name, I would judge that it's French but you only find that in Aldi and not always. I give the credit to Sagar who got me hooked in this. This is like sweet bread, so it's not so healthy as the normal seeded bread that I have, but oh, it's so good. So nice. Amazon has been by in my absence. I actually know what's in them, but that's another episode, probably tomorrow. So I'm gonna cut here and then I'll open the guitar and show you the guitar. Okay, I was thinking, how do I show you this guitar? But that's where the Osmo Pocket is so awesome because I've got it, I stuck to the fridge with a magnet and I can show you the whole thing. So this is the case, it comes within the same price and that's the guitar that you have seen already, but we will show you that again. Close the case. That looks like a proper musician's case as well, which is quite good. I think I can take it on to the flight if I need to. So, let's put this guitar here. Put the case away. And that's the guitar. I'm going to move the camera so that you can see it properly. The benefit with this, I'm not going to plug this in because it'll be too loud. So 
So the benefit with this is this is a very very nicely made guitar but it's also been used, it's been played and it's been played by people who are all better guitarists than me. So I'm hoping that some of their spirit will rub off on me. Oh, where am I going? 